Hello. Often when visiting different audio or video streaming applications, you would be able to click the play button and navigate to different pages in the app, and it would still keep playing the audio or video. Here, for example, I'm on the Rework podcast uh, page, and if I click play... Welcome to Rework, a podcast by 37 Signals about the better way to work and run your business. You saw I clicked on a few different uh, links in the page, but uh, the audio still kept playing. How does it work? First of all, we have this element that is shared around all the pages that we clicked. And if we click on inspect, we see the audio is wrapped in a div that has the data to be permanent attribute. And if we have a look at the docs for data to be permanent attribute in the Turbo Handbook, we see that we can add the data to be permanent to a div with a unique ID. And then this uh, div is not going to be refreshed uh, uh, automatically when we click links in our application. So another use case except of plain audio or video would be as I have here on Super Rails. So let me search for something. I click uh, search. I click search for something. I will click on one of these links. I navigate and here now if I click on quick search once again, you see all these search results were saved. Now they're not saved in the cache anywhere. They're not saved in the database. They are saved just in the HTML. So this is a basically free way of storing search results across page visits. And uh, here's what we are going to actually build in this episode. So here I have a basic application with a few different links. I have an audio file. If I click on the play button, you see I'm visiting different uh, pages. Here the time updates, here the time doesn't update because this is all inside a data to be permanent tag. So the audio keeps playing even though I visit different pages. And the same will also work for video tag. Just like this, you see I'm visiting different pages and the video works. And by the end of the video, as a cherry on the cake, we are going to make it so that uh, when we click some specific links, uh, the video will keep playing in this picture, in picture API mode. So let's see how we can do it uh, in new Ruby on Rails application. I've got this application here. Let me go to main branch. And uh, in the app, I basically just have a few links to a few static uh, pages. So this is all uh, I have. And let's try adding data to be permanent to our layout. So here I will add uh, a div with the, uh, I don't know, data to be permanent. I will add uh, some kind of check to see if it gets refreshed. I will have time dot zone dot now and I'll also have time dot zone dot now outside of the div. And now I will go back here and I will click a few links and you see this time zone now does not get refreshed. The one that is inside this uh, data to be permanent div, but the other one does get refreshed. And this one will only get refreshed if I make a full page reload like this. So you see when navigating inside the app, this uh, element doesn't get refreshed. And basically we can put any results that should be static uh, or that should be self-contained here. For example, an audio or video. Let's try putting an audio inside. So um, here I have a couple of samples, a sample audio and a sample video. I'll put them into app assets images and uh, I will render them. I will say equals audio tag sample uh, 15s and uh, we have to add controls true. Let's see if it gets rendered. It gets rendered now. I will play. I am going to different pages and you see it keeps uh, playing. I make a full page refresh and it stopped playing. The same should work for a video tag. Let's try this. I will uh, make a video tag for sample five seconds. Okay, it's very big. Let's make the size a bit smaller. So with uh, 500 pixels. Okay, now I will click on play on the video. And you see it uh, keeps playing. And now, as uh, I promised uh, in the end, we will try to add this picture and picture mode uh, so that the video plays in a, a small uh, uh, sidebar of the screen when uh, we click uh, outside. So to do this, we can uh, just write a couple of tiny JavaScript uh, uh, lines. We will add the script tag. 
and uh, in the script tag we can uh, uh, say function uh, we'll name the function uh, picture open and uh, we will say that we're going to find the uh, element with the video tag so document dot query selector video and on the video we will say uh, dot uh, request picture in picture and we're going to trigger this picture open on each of uh, these uh, link clicks so i will say on click uh, picture open and i will try adding to all of these uh, links Okay, now let's try playing the video. And we can click on the pages. And we see it. it is in a small sidebar. So, yeah, that's about it. This is how you can use uh, uh, Data Web Permanent for a few different use cases. And it is only for you to discover all the marvelous uh, uses for it. Let me know if there are any other use cases except of playing audio, video, or keeping search results. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.